hi in this tutorial we'll see how to read our temperature from a sensor lm35 this is a temperature sensor so we are going to uh, read temperature from this sensor and displaying on our lcd screen so let's see how to do this in uh, matlab we already know how to create a custom function for uh, displaying data onto our lcd screen so we're gonna so if you don't know how to create this function please go on to your previous uh, tutorial and see how to create a custom function uh, for uh, uh, displaying data on our lcd screen let's move on to our lab view so our custom function is already there i'm going to add some data to our custom function so instead of the potentiometer value i'm going to change this to temperature temperature and the output as once the custom character value has printed here and i want to uh, add some data to it that is uh, here i'm gonna like uh, lcd print so th this line i'm going to add copy and paste your lab view function so i'm going to add this there and i'm also I'm going to add another one line that is lcd print copy So we have changed our uh, S function here. So what we have to do is to we have to go on and again build our uh, S function. So I'm going to build it again. Okay. The function is going to build again. So it's successfully built. So once a function is built and delete the previous wrapper and go on and click the new wrapper and save it as in C++ format and double click on this. Find wide function and click here and add extern. Go cap C close it and again find another wide and type x turn in black cap c so save this function control s save the function and open our lc print here so we gonna we have connected our here you can see here so here we have connected our uh, see here we have connected our LM35 sensor and everything is connected like this let's go on and program for this and we go on to program the LM35 sensor is connected to the A0 pin that is analog pin so we are getting analog output so this is going to be feed us to some input with the devices so the pin is 0 I'm going to change the sample time as 0 0.01 change as 0 0.1 click OK so the reading from the analog pin we need to uh, do some calculation with this so go on and pick T wide okay the divide divide the value with our constant so we have to 
divide that value with 1024 1024 the product has to be multiplied you can search it and get a product the divided value has to be multiplied with you can go to sources pick a constant And this has to be multiplied with 5000. Click OK. And again, we need a divisor. So divide the value by 10. So that is the Celsius value. We can read from this. I'm going to connect this to my LCD screen. I'm going to deploy this function to my hardware. I'm going to options. So everything is the hardware is correct uh, selected as the correct port. Okay. I'm going to uh, deploy this program to external device. Before that, I'm going to save this as save as LCD temperature. To save this, go to diagram, refresh blocks, or go to simulation, update diagram. Okay, uh, the data is mismatched here. So what we have to do is we have to delete this one and go on and click the library. Go to conversion. Pick the converter. So we need to convert the data before this and and sign integer 16 and place it and simulate update the diagram now so everything is getting well i'm going to run this program So here you can see that the temperature now is 29 degree Celsius. Hope you can see this. Yeah, you can see that temperature data that we are getting from our LM35. So here it is reading as 29 degree Celsius. See the temperature data. Temperature is now 29 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to stop this. If you want this program to be uploaded to your hardware, stop this. And just click this uh, deploy to hardware so it will be permanently uh, uploaded to your Arduino Mega so you can use this program without connecting to your system just by connecting it to an external battery or anything this can be used as a standalone device now so that's it for this tutorial thank you